the smell of high school in the morning. And after that practice, I got a good feeling about hockey, too. It was your first practice back since you broke your arm and you were on fire, son. <laughs> Thanks. Next stop, playoffs. Ho, ho, it's dropout Drew. Can't call him that anymore. Not with a part-time class schedule. Science, English, and math. Sexy fun times. Cam? <laughs> I'm sorry, do I know you? Shut up. I crazy missed you. I was Kappa's casing. It was awesome, huh? My mom's cooking, my own bed, even my dumb brothers. You miss it already. <laughs> yeah, but at least now I have you, right? <laughs> it's Spirit Week, everybody, and you're all being sorted. There'll be fun team events going on all week, and the team with the most points at the end wins a pizza party. Is Tori still not talking to you? I mentioned I'm glad I am that you're back. <laughs> spirit leaders are taking names. Get in the spirit, Degrassians. Yep, uh, figures. I mean, you aren't on the same team, but me and Dallas are. I don't mind kissing the enemy. Anybody else team green? I am. Oh, look. My and Zygmunt are on the same team. How cute. Hey, this is a stupid spirit team, right? It's fine. I've, uh, I've actually gotten an idea. <laughs> Nothing's gonna come between us. Spirit Week is not a legitimate reason to miss class people. Sorry, can't show favoritism towards a team leader's crush. I don't have a crush on Ali Bandari. Yeah, she's pretty hot. <laughs> so why don't you just ask her out? Ah, uh, I don't know if she'll say yes. I mean, we got friendly, but things went a little south, and I haven't talked to her since the break. What's this? Mike Dallas lacking confidence. Did I wake up in an alternative timeline? In case you haven't noticed, Fiona, I don't have the greatest rep around here. Yeah, deservedly so. But maybe Spirit Week is the perfect opportunity for you to change your rep. I mean, assuming you're not the cocky jerk face everyone thinks you are, how could Allie resist? That's very inspirational. Yeah, well, I'm here to help. <laughs> P.S. I want this week to be perfect, so no shenanigans. Promise? I promise. <sighs> no way! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, look, I need you to do me a favor and trade me to Team Green. Again? No way. Ball hockey's the first event and we're winning. Look, Maya is on Team Green and so was the jerk who kissed her behind my back. You know what? It's fine. I'll just find someone to trade bandanas with her. You don't want her to think that you're a needy loser. You need to chill, bro. Trust a girl. It's not Maya you have to worry about. It's that bloodsucker Zig. He'll stop at nothing to get Maya to ditch you. Is it just me, or did spring break go by way too fast? I know, no, we're spending 24-7 together. <laughs> what? Walker to be relocated to Tech Wing after school today? Uh, yeah, they're moving this bank of lockers to fix some electrical thing in the roof. But the Tech Wing, it's so far away. Why don't you move into my locker? It's way closer to all your classes. Are you sure, Eli? Yeah. Are you sure, Eli? Yeah. Well, it'll be good practice for NYU dorm life. You're obviously getting your own drawer. Okay. 
I will move my stuff after English. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Locker room mates. You sure you and Claire are ready for that level of commitment? Uh, Claire and I are closer than ever. But your locker's like your last bit of man privacy. I could stir up trouble. <laughs> I think you're stirring up trouble. Do we need to find you a girl? Oh, oh burn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Aren't you lucky scoring this class with me? And how's that? You get a whole semester to pine up the courage and make your move? Sorry, I missed the last part. The laughter in my head was too loud. Ow. Way to hurt her, brother. Huh, as if Mike Dallas feels pain. That was a hit. We should go on a date. How many car wrecks do I have to pull you out of to prove I'm not a jerk? I don't think you're a jerk. Right. I don't. It's just that night we went to the Jay-Z concert was a disaster. And and look, we're not even on the same spirit team. Fate just seems to be saying no to a Dallas Alley union. Well, I don't believe in fate. I believe in hard work, and I'm willing to work very hard for you. No, let's make a bet. If my team Red wins the Spirit Week, you go on a date with me. Deal? Fine. Deal. But my team purple might just give you a run for your money. Oh, yeah? Well, there's one thing I know how to do. It's win. <laughs> Spirit week begins in the gym. Team red versus team green at ball hockey. Oh. Ready? All right, guys. Go out there and have fun, but you better win, just say. All right, I have the Tiger Saunders. Stay focused and don't get distracted. I won't. now. Game over! Holy crap. Where's my stuff exactly? Hey, my man. So, you can clear divorce yet? <laughs> no, we're uh, two peas in a pod. Uh-huh. Uh, I never took you for a vampire psychologist fan. <laughs> you know, I actually love that all of her stuff is all jumbled up in one big old mess. Uh-huh. Man, you keeping a diary now? Oh, it's uh, Claire's. No, I'll just put it back after math. Oh, you gonna take a peek? You mean invade her privacy? <laughs> okay, look, Eli, I get it, all right? We all get it. You and Claire are perfect, and you could read that thing from cover to cover, and nothing would surprise you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah Claire doesn't have any secrets for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Who started the fight? Well, obviously it wasn't me. I'm the one with the black eye here. Mr. Simpson, Cam is used to playing hockey at a higher level. You know what? I'd really like to hear from Cam Dallas. I guess my natural instincts took over. So it was an accident. Accident? He accidentally elbowed my eye? Yeah, it happens sometimes in hockey. Oh, give me a break. You know what? Ask Maya. She saw the whole thing. We'll tell him. I guess it's like Cam just snapped or something. Cam started the fight. Yes. Well, Mr. Saunders, you are immediately suspended for the rest of the week. I'm booking you to see the guidance counselor as soon as you come back. And you better keep that appointment. Come on, Zig. Let's take you to the school nurse. Look, I'm sorry, OK? I was just jealous. Just jealous. You went crazy. Congrats to 
Team Yellow, current Spirit Week leaders, you're not petite. I had an awesome talk with Coach. I just had to explain to my mom and my billet mom why I got suspended. Can you lay off? No, actually, I can't. What the hell were you thinking? You wanted to win, Dallas. This isn't about Spirit Week, you idiot. You just got back on the ice. What if you would have hurt yourself? You put the entire season in jeopardy. We may be done, Cam. Would that be so bad? I'd have more time to spend with Maya. Stop being so selfish. Hockey is more important than your stupid junior high drama. Dallas, I don't... You know what? I don't want to play. Just because you're already in the NHL doesn't mean the rest of us aren't fighting to get drafted. The whole team is counting on you, Cam. You! Get your head on, man. And stop crying where everyone can see you. It's embarrassing. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. I'll go. Oh, it's, it's okay. I was just writing a cheer for Team Purple. What's wrong? Um, everything. You know, I thought this semester was gonna be better, but I already messed it all up. Well, class has just started. You still have time to catch up? No, no, it's not school. At least not yet. <laughs> I'm tired. I just wish I could go to sleep and never wake up. Well, everybody has bad days. Yeah, but all my days are bad. Maya hates me. And Dallas just screamed my head off for being a screw-up. Oh, he did, did he? Yeah, he's right. No, just forget about Dallas and focus on fixing things with your girlfriend. No. No, there's no way. There's always a way. You should get her flowers. Lilies are good. Roses are better. Pink. Trust me, it'll work. A bouquet with legs got delivered for you. Huh? Uh, it's me. You okay? Yeah. Well, that must have cost a small fortune. Um. Yeah. Uh. You're worth it. Those are really pretty. Thanks. Do you think we could uh, hang out? Um, now that I'm suspended, I won't see you at school for like a whole week. Yeah, I'm in the middle of practicing my cello. I got an audition for the National Young Musicians Orchestra. Whoa, <laughs> isn't that like really hard? No, they don't usually audition anyone under 16. <laughs> Maya, that's awesome. Thank you. I, I, could, I could sit and watch you practice. Hey, I mean, I can't practice all night, right? My parents are still in PEI, and Katie's in charge, but she says it's okay, then I'd like you to stay. Yeah? Badari, thought I'd give you a Spirit Week update. Had a slight setback during ball hockey, but Team Red will make a comeback, and you and I will be on a date in no time. Yeah, I don't 
think so. Bet's off. Huh? Why? Why were you so mean to Cam? Cam? Well, he was being a dumbass for starters. He has problems, and you just yelled at him and made him cry? So he ran crying to you, did he? Awesome. Don't turn this around. You're the problem here. The kid needs to get his head on straight. I did him a favor. Tough love doesn't work on everyone, Dallas. Cam has nothing to do with us. But how you treat him has everything to do with us. Because underneath all of that confidence and swagger, you're just an ugly bully. And I do not date guys like that. Kitties, it's getting late. Goodbye, Cam. No. Uh, I don't want to go home. It's not even mine. Can I show you something? Promise you won't laugh. Okay. This is Hoot. When I was eight years old, I went to my first overnight camp, and I was terrified. So my parents got me Hoot, and they said as long as he was there, I wouldn't be lonely. Now you need to get your own stuffed animal. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Can it just be you? You're owl-like. <laughs> Hello, Cam. Out. Katie, come on, it's so late. Can you just sleep over? <laughs> Good one. Well, come on, you can crash on the couch in full view. No. No, 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 no. Katie, do you know how many times I covered for you when you stayed over at Jake's? Well, that's not exactly a problem anymore, is it? When it is, you owe me. Okay, fine, but no funny business, and this is a one-time thing, Campbell. When Mom and Dad get home from their trip, this is over. Okay. <laughs> what? Stop it. Ah, wasn't me, man. It was who? Oh, oh look, yo, was no really? Jack, I swear. Oh, now he's mad. Yeah. <laughs> Overslept, uh. okay? We have like 10 minutes to get ready for school. Where's Cam? I have no idea, okay? Vamanos! <sighs> Good morning, Maya Matlin. I'm sorry I had to leave early morning hockey practice. And I didn't want to wake you. You were drooling so cutely. So last night was pretty much the best night ever. Um, thank you for that. And also, I kidnapped Hoot. If you ever want to see your owl again, meet me on the steps at lunch, and we'll negotiate for his safe return. <laughs> Ooh, nasty shiner there. I hope it didn't hurt too bad. I also hope that it didn't hurt too bad that you lost the girl. Maya forgave you? Doesn't matter, it won't last. You know, you can't keep up this act for long. <laughs> what act? Eventually, Maya's gonna see what I see. Oh, yeah? And what's that? You're a psycho. You know, it just sucks that Maya's gonna have to deal with it. And if you cared about her at all, then you'd get out of her life now, forever. the bracket for gladiator duels, you're facing Becky in the first round. You have to destroy her. Is everything okay? I tore apart our locker yesterday looking for my journal. Couldn't find it. And then today it was just on the shelf. You didn't take it, did you? What? Worried I'd find out your deep, dark secret? I'm sorry for asking, it's just... You know what I write down here is a stream of consciousness. It's unedited, unproved. It's, it's embarrassing. Yeah. 
Anyway, Glenn and my mom are out tonight, so I was wondering if you wanted to, you know, come over. Will um, Jake be home? I uh, I don't I don't know why. Oh, I just I wouldn't want things to be awkward. You did read my journal. Yeah, the whole thing, including the Jake chapter. Look, I know you dated that lumberjack for like a second, but in the journal it said that you loved him, I, I, and that you wanted to have sex with him. Jake? I can't believe this. You've invaded my privacy. I honestly didn't think you needed any privacy from me. Yeah, well, I guess I do.